All right, I've been talking a little bit about this in the chat, so I figured I'd give you a little bit of a, an update on this little project that's taking me way too long, but is uh, coming together, I think, pretty nicely at this point. Here's some of the scripting that I've been doing. See a whole bunch of variables up here. But the important thing at the very top is the export variables. You can actually see over here on the right side that those export variables mean that I can actually set the different values from within the, uh, uh, the inspector on the right. So that's going to make it pretty nice, and we'll sh I'll show you a few reasons why. Uh, let me launch the uh, game as it stands right now. And I've added in a little bit of a floating sprite up here. You can see going back and forth. Because currently the horizontal movement is on, but the vertical movement is off. Now if I turn vertical movement on, you can see it's going to have both. I can toggle back and forth, on and off. And when you leave it off, it's going to correctly reset back to its original position. So I can keep on toggling back and forth there. Horizontal movement I can turn off as well. And once again, if I toggle it and turn it off, it will return back to its default position and go correctly. And then if I turn both of them off, the sprite will just return smoothly back to its starting position. Now, if you look over on the right with the B form of the character, you can actually see that I've applied a little bit of movement to the B sprite. And it's not anywhere near the drastic uh, movement that you can see on the test sprite here. So let's go over to the uh, player script and show you uh, what this looks like. You can see over here in the default uh, floating sprite uh, settings, both horizontal and vertical movement are off. That's for when the character is in human form. So there's no movement to the sprite beyond the animation. So you can move back and forth, it doesn't move, but as soon as you jump and enter the B flying state, it's going to automatically turn on the vertical movement and move slightly. You can see I've changed the settings here. The max speed is going to be one unit per uh, frame there, and the uh, difference there, that's going to be the difference from the default position, is only going to be two for the Y. Uh, and the acceleration I've turned all the way down to three, uh, three units per frame, and so that's all making the motion you can see there. I uh, don't know if this will actually live update. Let's see what happens if I change the acceleration to 15. Yeah, you can see that it uh, changes right there. Change it back to 3 works correctly. But if I change the uh, float difference all the way to 16? Oh, is that not live update? Well, that's annoying. Some things do live update, some things do not live update. But you can see that... Uh, I can use this for various different things, uh, allowing me to get some interesting effects and uh, some effects that I think will look some look pretty good here. Uh, the original intention for this and what I'm uh, intending to use it for moving forward is for, for instance, key uh, keyboard prompts. If there is something I want you to press a key for, uh, I wanted to actually have the tutorial, uh, the image of the keyboard key uh, floating there so that the player can see it and they can uh, know what they need to do. So that's uh, what the project looks like so far. Uh, thank you for watching.